Hello everyone, I'm just going to um, whip this apart and just show you how easy it is to adjust the camera angle. So instead of it looking down all the time, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you don't want to do that, don't do it. Um, but for those who do, I'm just going to show you how, how an easier process this is. First of all, we're just going to whip off the, the props. Now, I've already done it and it does have a much better camera angle on it. Um, the places where I need to check to see if that's going to be a problem is facing towards the sun, because if the angle's you know, directly at the front, it's going to have a lot more glare going into it from the sun, as opposed to it being um, pointing downwards, so it's giving itself a shade. I don't... Well, I'm hoping it's not going to make too much difference, but it, look, um, it's a very cheap camera that's going to be in here. It's not really designed, I don't think, for reality use as such, just because um, this isn't the sort of thing you want to fly high. And as I mean, I mean, with altitude, not flying high. This is um, it's so small, you know, um, it's going to get blown around in the wind quite a bit. But I suppose all it sounds like probably is that I'm slating it. But I'm, I must tell you now, I'm not a car dealer. Meaning that if I wanted to sell sand to the Arabs, I'd probably give it a good go if I wanted to. But for things like this, I'm not interested in trying to sell anybody anything. There's no affiliate links. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be nothing. All I'm interested in is if I buy these little things, which I bought these for me, um, are they any good? And if they have problems, then to me, you know, if I go and buy a car, I don't care if it's the best car on the lot. I don't care what the sellers are trying to tell me. What I want to know is what's wrong with it. Can I live with this thing? Yes, lovely. I can see it's got paint. I can see it's got tyres and stuff. But I want to know about knocks after you've been driving it for a week, after whatever you've put in the engine uh, to quiet it down has worn off. I want to know about those types of things. You know, full steering lock, does it do any? Funny noises, you know, crunching on ball joints. Or anything. These are the things I want to know. Someone says, yeah, it flies. Good. You can... Uh, it's got a camera, it works good. It says all these things on the box. Yep. Uh, I expect all those things to work. I don't know what's wrong with me when it comes to this. I think it's because I've been stung. I think it's because I am bitter. Because I've been stung. I've been stung by... Uh, but I suppose I was stung, but I was lucky because I didn't waste my money and I was only really lucky because I didn't have any at the time to waste but I would have done I would have done I would have bought that thing the wizard Isheen wizard 220s back when it first came out oh my life everyone raved about that thing it's the greatest thing since sliced spreads and I couldn't couldn't get into my you know, my account fast enough to order one couldn't get into it fast enough to order one but I say luckily for me now is that particular one uh, had sold out from our great friends at Banggood I can't get this one out it seems to be just oh it's come out and uh, yeah so I didn't get it and I really wanted it and I didn't get it and then within a couple of weeks all these bad reviews were coming out about it this is what I don't want. To, this is what I don't want to know anymore. I don't care if it just come out of the box. I expect it all to be there. I expect it to work. No pats on the back for that. That's just the given. I don't know if it's now because we get stuff from China. It's like a big shock if it works or something, or if it's all there. I don't. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. But in the UK, in my country, we have quality control and things before things come out in the first place. Um. So you just expect it all to be there. But there you go. I mean, that's just different ways of doing things, isn't it? But uh, yeah, you very rarely get anything out of me. 
that's going to be over glossing or doing anything right i'll show you what i did here uh, it's quite simple all i did i mean i don't know if you've got any heat shrinking or anything i don't know what the exact size of this is um i can sort of show you well basically it just comes in a I hope project pull that off it just comes in a and that's the blue i think and that's the white that i've used i'm going to use white and blue yeah because the first one the outer is a white one and it's the only white size i've got so whatever this is i mean it's not pretty big i don't have a tool for measuring it i don't even have a blooming tape measure i do i've got two of them but can i find them uh, they come in handy sometimes but it's the standard stuff that you get you know a bit of heat shrink and all i've done is i've used the uh, the outer one because you can pull the, the camera out here um i don't know how to take all that out like i did before because this I, and they're just on these like little uh, uprisers coming from the plastic itself coming from the, the chassis so what you got to do is just get underneath there gentle i wouldn't you know because that would just raise i wouldn't uh, try and do it all on the one legs you might snap on the other sides and, uh, just raise that up there raise that up there there we go and this will come out oh he says we get to have a look, look underneath there. Um, just trying to see. This is where our power connects from the battery. I don't know if we can look this up, but we'll give it a go. Where's my magnifying buying glass? There we go. So what we got on there. Oh, I don't know if you can see it through here. I know I won't be able to do that, so I've got to actually look through here. I might need to bring my light down from the top as well. To use both of them. There's me old eyes. So this is it. XN29. 7 lbw uh low power 24 gigahertz gsf gfsk transceiver it's a short range transceiver cl uh, clip chip sorry so again <clears throat> let me just pull up some of the specs and you can see this let me just Okay, so that's that. So, yeah, that's what we got there. Um, well, we got another. I'm sorry, we got another chip here, which is a. Uh, it's the right way. I don't know what you can see or what you can't see. You see the LEDs in my lamp. <laughs> Oh, well, looking at it just by what it's connected to. Uh, I think that's going to be some sort of like spy. Right, uh, so let's just take a peek at what's underneath here as well. I think this one's got uh, a bit more flexibility into the wire, I mean. Just have a little look what's underneath. Now, as you can see on here, there's a... No, I thought that that there was a parameter. So I thought peek earlier. Yeah, it is. That is a barometer. This here. So this is how it's keeping its level. And uh, well, I mean, I don't know if which one that is but i know the bpm uh what is it it's the bpm 280 290 that's spy connection <coughs> okay so we got a little 
That's where our LED goes in there. Just to make sure there's nothing. We can damage. No, that's got a little tiny notch part on there. Bring this in a bit closer. I have to remember that the actual lenses for my camera on this phone are, are not in the middle of the phone. And it makes a big difference now. See that? That's what I did. Just did the outer part first and then put another one in the middle to make sure it got some you know, solidness to it. But then very, very light. Oh. Oh, that's our power button. Yeah, so... Here's our antenna. <laughs> this is the antenna for your control. And I presume that this then is going to be dealing with, well, I don't know, because that looks like on the board. We'll take a peek at that in a minute. We'll see if we can get the number off this chip, the ID off this chip. Um, oh, it's got no markings. Oh, tidy buggers. Let me just get that a little bit of a wipe. <laughs> I guess they got no markings. So I presume this is just control and this is going to be the bit that's got the uh, information doing flips and circles and, and such. And I and don't want you to know what that chip is. A couple of little uh, regulators here. And just the um, momentary switch. Tactile. Bunch of little regulators on the back there. But that's it, it's not a lot to it really, is it? Not a lot to it, now let's have a peek at this camera. See, now what I did, is all, all I've done here really, is I've... I just got this bit to come out of here. Let's put that down like that for a minute. All I did is I just got this bit uh, to come out of here like that and normally there'd be this in there and that keeps the shape and keeps it at the tilt that it wants so I don't turn it shooting across the place um, so of course that's going to be on the outside that part and then the other part will be facing in and see, so that's how it sits in, and it keeps it at that angle um, to the shape of this, really. As you can see, look, that's the straight line, and then we drop into this angle going down. So that's what I've done. And then where the ribbon is at the back, and that's what I've stuffed with this to push the bottom forward. So rather than it sit at that angle, and there it, it actually gets it to push it up. It still gives it a bit of a cover from the sunlight coming in, but of course, you know, the less, the, the more light you can get into it. You know, I, I flew it round. The reason why I put it in the dark, flying it a little bit in the other video, is one, it was a bit of a slap together because I was getting a bit bored of doing it. Um, and I didn't want to just push it off and start doing something else, otherwise it never get done. And, uh, and yeah, because it was to also sort of point out without saying that you know, the camera's not going to be very good uh, in these uh, highlight situations. I, uh, maybe I should pull up a, um, a video of the way I set up my Sima with the camera in there. And that was all right because I was flying it around in the sun for that amount of time with the camera in there. i tell you what this is a good for, though. This is a... It's going to... Just trying to take a peek at this board a bit. Just pull that through. Um, no, I'm not. I, know, I can't. I'm just looking to see if I can see anything on this chip here, but I can't actually see anything on that chip there. But I'm wrong. There is something on the chip, so let's have a look see what that is. Twenty-five L thirty-two thirty-three F. Nor flash, serial nor flash. 
And the other two, uh, and the other two on here got nothing on them. You're not allowed to see those ones. Oh, here's a nice chip underneath here. So let me just pull that out of the way of that. Let's just get that out of the way of that. Pull that down there and see what's controlling it. This is a uh, a full hand. Mm. I don't know if we can put that in there. Can you see that? Come here, camera. Can you see that in there? Oh, there you go. Um, HD web camera autofocus. So that's the FH86 V100 effective pixels 1900. So this is, well, you know, we expected it to be the camera stuff. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, so that's the brains behind the camera gummings in there. But isn't that quite good because I'm just looking for the antenna for the R. Oh, is that it? I've got a funny feeling. I mean, this is the antenna for the control for the 2.4 gigs, but you've also got the Wi Fi antenna in here. I'm not sure whether well, it's probably just you know built into this. Just can't see it. Well, I don't know what I'm looking for. Probably more likely to be the case. I'm not actually too sure what I'm looking for. But anyway, so yeah, that's what's inside there. Now let's take a peek at these motors because this is oh something I was ah um, oh, that's no. We've already checked this, haven't we? Because I've got a bunch of other motors and. I'm hoping actually that the other motors will fit in this one because this one has a different motor. These motors are all together bigger, wider and longer in, in here than these ones. And these batteries, even though they're only 500 milliamp, will last, it says up to 11 minutes, but they definitely go for 10 minutes. Yeah, these are 500 milliwatt hour. And 1. point, what I say, 1.85 watt hour but they, they do last a while and that's with you know everything on the go the camera's doing its thing I mean it's not recording on there so that's going to save a lot because uh, that happens in the phone but you know I mean I quite like this the only thing that gets me about it is the throttle is very twitchy you know it's quite hard look at, look at my fingers on this look I've always got to try and do it like this, and there's not a lot of movement there. My my joints, it's probably very good for small hands, probably. But again, when you've got full, a uh, little tiny bit of this, and it's full full speed on the yaw, that is full speed. There's no difference between doing that and doing that, which you know we know that when you're yawing, you don't want to do it, so it's just a blur. Uh, uh, you want to be able to slow it down and get that nice that's that's how you get your smooth um, when it looks like it's just gliding nicely you slow it down you slow everything down into nice um, so there we go that's the inside of the uh, of that <laughs> I much prefer the longer stick and the more control and the slower yours so when you're doing your figures of eights and stuff or, you know you can do it nicely rather than it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and up and down, up and down.